Evening new at 530, the Flint water crisis has focused renewed attention on the dangers of lead. And it's not just a Flint and water problem. As 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn shows us, lead concerns in Detroit have nothing to do with the water. I do want to assure every Detroiter that uh, the water that they're receiving from uh, DWSD is of the highest uh, quality and standards. Gary Brown has only been on the job officially since January 1st, but in light of the lead poisoning in Flint, the question is asked frequently by customers. We have chemists that are uh, checking the water every four hours before it leaves the plant, and we, you know, Detroiters can rest assured that the water is safe in the city of Detroit. Part of the concern comes from recent published reports of data from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. City Council Member Mary Sheffield wants more answers. 20% of children tested in zip code 48206 in Detroit show elevated lead levels. It's not the water. It's probably the old housing stock. It's the paint, the lead-based paint. Uh, it's the, the soil, the dirt. And so uh, we need to know as a city what exactly is causing it and, again, figure out how we as a city and myself as a council member can make sure that my residents and constituents are safe. In addition to the quality assurances, the city plans to roll out March 1st a water affordability program for help with water bills and repairs for residents. In Detroit, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.